Yesterday, at the Hungaro Ring, Lando Norris got team orders and moved aside for one Oscar Piastri so he could win his first race in just his second year in Formula One. It took Lando Norris six years before he got his first win in Miami. Now, Mike, if that's you, you are right now Lando Norris. Are you moving over for Oscar Piastri? Okay, two things. Uh, they told him that they were going to pin him first and that he would, he'd have to move over. So, yeah, I would have had to move over. I, didn't, I wouldn't have wanted to. And Lando was making it hard on everyone. Did you hear all the radio chatter? I did. It was so funny. Yeah, then he was like, well, tell him to catch me then. <laughs> and he couldn't. And when he told them that, he actually... Went made faster. the gap from three seconds to five seconds. Well, because they kept telling him you're hurting your tires, which means you, you need to slow down to, so he can catch you. Babe. Right, and then they went, Lando, you've proved your point. Lando was going to go. He was, he was, he was just having fun. I, I don't think he was ever not going to pull over for him because it's team orders. And but I think one thing that McLaren made a mistake is they should have let Lando win just for the points because now the race is on for the championship. I mean, because McLaren has the fastest car now, they could win the championship. Because Max, did they give him a, a couple grid place penalty for the collision with? No, they no, didn't? no further investigation. So he came fifth then. He came fifth. All right. He really only has to come top five the rest of the races, and he wins the champ. Even if Lando wins the rest, but I still think for the championship, McLaren should have let L- Lando win the race because, I mean, this happened years and years ago with Mika Hakkinen and David Coulthard, where Coulthard was leading the Australian Grand Prix, but they had a deal. And he let him go, just like Lando did. On the front straightaway, just pulled over and parked the car and just let him go by. So, Well, let's really dive into the Hungarian Grand Prix. Mike, hit the music. Hit this button. They said it couldn't be done. They said it wouldn't last. White man, black man. America F1. <laughs> America F1, coming to you straight from San Francisco, California, Sherman Tillman, Michael Lawler. America F1. One one of the things I didn't like that happened with Lando Norris is one, in the cool down room, which we formally call the Max Verstappen podcast. Okay. You mean his, you mean his, his he's, private room? Yeah, that's his private room because he's always there. But lately he's not. So. No, he in, was, he was well, there last no. week? Well, he was there last he's week. He's only missed one. Yeah, he only missed one. Yeah, this is the first one he missed. Never my, mind. My bad. Never mind. D- discount what I just said. But what I didn't <clears throat> like is Lando comes in in the, the Max for Step and Cool Down room. He takes off his, se- he his grabs his second place uh, hat. Max for Steppen. He throws it to the ground. I think he was just kidding around. But, and then after he throws it to the ground, Lewis he says, hey, you know, you guys got a really fast car. Like, you guys are really quick out there. Yeah. And then Lando goes, well, you were quick seven for seven years ago. <laughs> and then Lewis goes, seven years ago? Were you even in Formula One seven years ago? And, 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 and then I didn't he see goes, it. well, we have the quickest car now. That's what Lando says. And then Lewis, very nice always very thoughtful he said i wasn't trying to give you a dig i was giving you guys a compliment <laughs> and then and then lando calmed down after and then that. lando then oscar came in and they start talking uh-huh. but it just seems that where lewis is concerned lando kind of has a chip on his shoulder which is strange because they're both British. well because remember lando turned down going to red bull he'd probably have won a championship or two by now because Instead of staying at McLaren for all those, you remember you, you said think that, he would be Max head to head. I don't think so. Oh well, hell yeah! He just he beat him yesterday. <laughs> he he bar- so here here's the thing, and we'll, uh, why is Lewis Hamilton always involved in other drivers' hate? Remember when Vettel took the the, the first place when when Lewis put, had won yeah, and then put yeah, second yeah, place. I think yeah, it was in Canada, yeah. and then took. His first and put it on his, and then Rosberg, you know, Hamilton just gave him the hat, and, and he, he takes the hat and throws it back at it's Hamilton. The worst fight ever in history. <laughs> why, why are they always hating on Lewis? What What is the deal with well, this? Lewis, the guy's they a, say, seems the nicest guy. Lewis, they say, is a little mercurial. So, what do you mean? 
Like a little standoffish. Um, well, he's a sir now. So. Okay, sir standoffish. Sir, sir standoffish. Uh, but Did you I, call him sir standoffish? Sir standoffish. <laughs> That's his new nickname. Well, I hope we're not hurting the feelings of uh, Hamilton fans uh, around the world. Sir standoffish. Because I can't call Verstappen what I want to call okay, him. Okay, hey, Mad we, Max we, now. That's his we, new name. We, we, we Mad retired Max. that. Mad Max. We Calm retired down, that. all you people. doing it. But I think that it's Oscar Piastri's first win in Formula One, and he's only a year and a half in, Mike. Well, he's on the right team at the right time. That's how Formula One is. You know that. You could, like, look at Nico Hulkenberg. I think he's just as good as all these guys. He's just never had a car. And he's going to get that Audi car, and if that Audi car comes on song, he might actually get a podium. <laughs> now, now take, take Lando keeps having really bad starts. And, Lando has had some hoopty starts and, when he went, every time he's been on the pole he doesn't have a good start and he's almost but he has good starts when he's not on the pole so yes. it's like it's like he just it's like remember starting these cars now is like uh, there's no traction control there's no aids it's like right. you have a clutch on the steering wheel that you have to let out just right but these guys practice this in the simulator for for hours and hours and hours and um, I'm gonna tell you why I wouldn't have gave the place back. Because at why the, he wouldn't he didn't want to give the place. I'm going to tell you why sure. I wouldn't have done it. Okay. Yeah, but then you would have fucked up the whole team. I'm going to tell you why I wouldn't have done it. Let me tell you, and then okay. you can retort. Sherman, who's never driven a race car in his life, like tell tell us what you think about this. Why why do you have to put me down like that? <laughs> and I have cute. driven a race car, but why do you have to put me? No, down? you've never driven a race car. You drove a a GT3 Porsche somewhere, right? Yeah, that's pretty. That's that's not a race car. They race GT3 Porsches. Not the one you were driving. Yeah, the one I was. All right. Doing. Anyways, tell tell tell. But why why do you always do that? <laughs> because you won't you but, won't I get mean, a track day, and I can take you up and teach you how to drive, and then you'll. Oh, I know. will get a track day. When? I've been telling you. We for looked, two years. and you said the guy got fired. No, no. You said the fi- class wasn't there anymore. No, th- we're not going to the class. I I know a guy. Well, all right. Give me some dates. Like I keep saying, give me some I dates. I sent you the dates. No, you didn't. You're a liar. I'll look. We'll look on the phone. You did not send any dates. I'm sending him dates you didn't right send now. Any when dates. I get done, I'm going to send right. him dates. No, Back he's still we're... not going to do it. Just like our new Why studio. Why wouldn't I do it? Why wouldn't it, I do it? It's, it's just, just <laughs> come on, man. Stop. Stop. Let's get back anyway, to the show. Tell come me on. why you wouldn't have pulled over. All right. Because Oscar, really, on that first turn. He really made a mistake. He actually Oscar did. Yes, he braked late, and he if if Lando didn't well, he move kinda, over, he kind of moved him out yes, a little bit. If Lando didn't move but that's, over, that's, wait, how, that's let how me you, finish. That's how you start a race. Let though. me finish. Let me finish. Let me oh, finish. Okay. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, fin- finish Yuki. If Lando didn't move over and give Oscar more room, they would have either crashed or he could have rode Oscar out and taken kept out the lead. Max. Yeah, and taken <laughs> out and kept the lead though. Yeah. So well, Oscar got the inside. He got the inside line. That was the that was where you wanted to be. That's where Lando should have been if he would have well, got he the start. He went to cover. He went to cover. We well, had no Max choice because first. Lando. I mean, Piastri got alongside of him. And when you're going into a, a right hand corner like that, whoever is on the inside, even if even if you're a little bit ahead of me, the guy on the inside still sort of has the right away. So, and it's the first lap. You, when you're starting a race on the first lap, you can't. You're not just going to go full blast into the corner. They're full of gas. The tires aren't warm. It, well, you're you going to go full blast if you're Max. You're going to go full blast. Well, Max Max did what Max always does. He went sh- straight. I mean, he had to go straight around the outside because Piastri moved Lando out, and then Lando, there was no place for Lando to go. So Max went off the track, and then they made him give that position back, which I, I thought was kind of lame because Max just, he got pushed off the track. He had no choice but to go outside like that. But Now, in our pre-race, uh, post-race qualifying, I predicted – and so did Scott that Oscar Piastri was going to win this race. Scott was, Lawler? No, not your brother. Scott. He Scott Greenspan. He was actually at the race. Oh, the guy you interviewed yesterday. Yeah, I interviewed him. He was at the race. He was uh, a guest of the Ferrari garage, so he's in the garage at Ferrari at the Hungaro Ring. So I interviewed him and. We both pick Oscar to win the race. Well, it's sort of crazy how many really good drivers are in Formula One right now. You can. Half the field can win the race every race now. So if they have the car, if they have the car, and then there's and then you go to the second tier of drivers, which I I, I believe is Nico Hulkenberg. But Nico Hulkenberg's him and Fernando are older now. Um, Nico's not as old as. Well, Fernando. no, Nico's been, in, but he's not as old as Fernando. But Fernando's forty one. Him, 
Nico and um, Richardo are about the same age. Right. And then Fernando's 10 years older than they are. Right. And I love how they, somebody said in an interview about Fernando, where they were talking about like the age of everyone. And then they're like, yeah, and Fernando's 180 years old. <laughs> Fernando also had a kind of. Whoa, well, he's uh, not tantrum. happy. He's not he happy. Threw, he threw his coat. Threw his coat down. Now, and w- kind of stormed off. Now, if there was any other driver. Being caught on film, throwing their coat, yeah, throwing their coat, we'd it'd be all over. Okay. Everybody be talking about it. Well, first of all, but because it, it's Fernando, nothing. First of all, you're not. This is a rule. If you're a driver, you're not allowed to throw your gloves, throw your helmet down, have a tantrum because all, everyone will see that stuff and they know they can get under your skin. See, so because the one time I threw, my, I, I came back and I threw my gloves down, and my my mechanic Max looked at me. He's like, no. Never, never, never do what you... And I'm like, what I do? He's like, you were mad. Everyone knows you're mad now, and they can get under your skin. You have to be an ice princess. So, Oscar Piastri is quite the badass, in my opinion. I, it, I'm i not going to say I'm in love with this guy, but I'm in love with this guy. He's good. I mean, he's good. He's good, Mike. Well, he won all the all the championships coming up like you're supposed to. Now... What the hell is up with McLaren? Because they didn't have to have this controversy. Why didn't they pit Oscar first? They did it to cover Lewis. Why do they need to cover Lewis when Lewis is like I know, he, on hard tires? His car is not as fast as the McLaren. He's not going to make up 15 seconds. He was, I think he was 15 or 12 seconds behind at that point. Well, you, when you, anytime you make a pit stop, you have the capacity to make a mistake. And if you did a 15-second pit stop, there's... Why, what I'm saying is why are they covering Lewis first when Oscar's in the lead? Doesn't he get to choose to come in first? He's the lead driver. Well, he's, he doesn't, he's, he's in first at that The point. driver doesn't get to choose when they come in there. They have this thing called a strategist and that person. Well, that was, and, and they've been screwing up the strategy lately. But they, what, they, they did it in they, Silverstone. They, they did it in Canada. They came they've in. had the fastest car in these last five races they and we only won. They didn't screw One of them. the strategy. They came in <laughs> well, first two, and right. second. You did. That's not screwing up anything. And I think the whole, all those radio conversations with Lando, I just think Lando was just having fun. You <laughs> I, think I, so? Oh, I think so. Because, because they, they cause, and then he just, they finally said, Lando, pull over, God dang it. And he's like, you saw him. You saw the way he did it too. Yeah, but he, you, you he know, did it so abruptly. And it was like, here you go. You know, he did, he was tearing up though in the cool down room or oh, when they were asking him. Actually, not in the cool dog room, but in the Q and A between him and the media, he had like his eyes were watery. Like he really didn't want to give that position up. And think about it; it took him six years to get his first win, man. And no, but you was, never know when that next win when is he coming. Jo- remember, he joined McLaren like right. When they got the Mercedes. No, he's not been six years. He's, it has been six years. I thought 2019. It took him six years to win. I thought he started in 2019. I'm telling you, it took six years. I don't think so. Orlando, I think North. he started in 2019. No, I think you're wrong. Because I think, uh, I don't know, Van Dorn. No, I'm right. Because no. Buttons last year was. Go, go get the. Go, you know what? I, I hate when I have to do this. Uh, Another way, dollar. Get it out. Dollar. You, you I owe you, you, you two. two. Come on. Dollar. Dollar. Okay, I think Lando. Just ask I, how long Lando Norris has been. I in think F1. he's been in F1 since 2019. I'm That's say not six, six years. Go, 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 go! I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Keep, now, why keep he's running doing your that, mouth? You have to be prepared to be in the front. McLaren, by far, right now, at this moment, has <laughs> the fastest car. They've only won two of those <laughs> five races that they should have won all of them. The difference between and then Lando in the cool down room was kind of almost giving a dig, a kind of weird dig at Hamilton for having the fastest car. But the difference between you, Lando, and one Sir Lewis Hamilton is when Sir Lewis Hamilton had the fastest car, he won. You have the fastest car. You're not winning. You've only won one of the five. 2019, I was right. It's five. It's his fifth year. You're an idiot. Uh, wait, you wait, me wait, a wait, wait. Put that back. I didn't see that. It's, me, it's at 2019. Oh, give me that. Let me see. God, hold on. 2019. That was his debut. Fucking open your eyes. 2019. Debut date. Look. Wait. Why, why do you have to do that? <laughs> why, do you have to, why do you have to first win Miami? Well, why do you have to grab it like that? 
God, you're a knucklehead. You, you've already lost. You owe me a dollar. I only owe you a dollar now. <sighs> I told you I was right. 2019. That's the first year they had the Mercedes in the car, too. See? Debut. 2019. Thank you. Give me my... You owe, I only owe you a dollar now. Damn it. Damn it! Anyway, moving on. Mass for Steppen was <laughs> like a petulant child. See, she's a hottie, right? Max Verstappen was like a pep, petulant, stop, don't do that. Petulant child yesterday on the radio. Even his engineer had to say, oh, Max, that's very childish. You're being very childish. I am not going to fight with other engineers or other teams over the radio. And then he took out his frustration because he he's not winning. He's not in the front. He took out his frustration on Lewis, of course, Lewis well, Hamilton on that turn. Okay, Max <laughs> made a mistake going into turn one. He locked up his tires and drove into into Lewis. The end. And then he got. And then he said in the in the break room that Lewis was turning into him. Lewis had to do. That's the apex. He was turning into the corner. What <laughs> are you talking tur- about? He's turning the corner. Where else is he? Supposed you to went go? straight, and he <laughs> was turning. He was. He gave you room, knucklehead. But it's never anybody else's fault. No, it's, it's a driver. Always somebody else's fault. But Sherman, Sherman. It, Max never takes. But that's what you want. You don't want a driver to take. It's my bad. Who wants to hear that crap? He he said the rest of the team, remember he's on a team. Yeah. No one wants to hear the driver going, I made a mistake. I, I, I never made a mistake. I told you about the worst accident I was ever in. And I swear to God to this day, I thought someone hit me from behind and pushed me into this guy. It I, was totally my fault. But I came into the pits and I'm like, who hit me? You know, <laughs> to me, I'm going to take the opposite end of that. I think it's very... Can you stop touching the mic? It's very, I didn't touch I got the, the head, headphones on. When, well, you you can, the mic, you can, when you touch the mic, I hear this big well, you can, reverberation you can, in my you, ears. You have this thing in your, in, your, in your audio thing. You can delete that crap. So don't do that. Okay? <laughs> it hurts my ears. Sorry, sir. All right. Now, why... Out of all the drivers to run into, why does Max pick out Lewis Hamilton all the time? Why is it Lewis? Why is it Lewis, Lewis, well, Lewis? Because Lewis is the GOAT. He's literally the GOAT. He's got seven world championships. Only him and Michael Schumacher have that many. That's so that it. means, well, he really has eight, but we won't get into that. <laughs> <laughs> we won't dive into that, Michael Massey. Well, he should have nine okay. if you were going to go back to 2007 we won't, we won't dive when he landed that. in the Hamilton Beach at China. But that's like completely. That's, and those tires were totally bald. Yes, it was totally that was, bald. It was a boo boo by everybody. That's okay. see. That's why this is a team and, sport. And and that is the McLaren legacy. Like they always seem to. Now when they had Senna up. and Prost, they never did that. Crap. Well, that, they had Ross Brown then. No, right. Ross Brown was never on. Who they have? Who they have? They had all the guys from that era. They, uh, oh God, um, Nichols was one of the guys on that team who designed the car, and they had uh, Gordon Murray was the lead designer or the, or the principal. They had uh, Ron Dennis, but they had freaking yeah, Ron Senna. Dennis. That's the name. Of they it. had freaking Senna. <laughs> yeah, well, and, and Prost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Senna is still probably as. I mean, I'm a Schumacher guy. I didn't know Senna, but I've seen races with Senna. And the one, oh my God, when he qualified for Monaco, I think it was 88 or 89. Right, it's, everyone's seen it's that. It's scary to watch. I mean, as a driver, it's like, how did he do that and not kill himself? It was like, and remember, there was a stick shift in the car yeah, still. stick shifts. And it was just like, what the hell did I just see? And I watched it again and again and again. It was like, one time I saw Tony Stewart in a sprint car on a dirt track. And he comes off the corner and he just hits the gas and the whole car kind of comes up like this. Why? It's so scary. Oh, why? Can what I really liked in this race. To me, the, it was really the last I'd say 20 laps that was, it was interesting. All right. Right? It was an all right race. No, it was the last 20 laps cuz the radio commentary for this race was better than pretty much all, all the races of this year combined. Oh, I love it. I love the it. Because ra- remember back in the day, they never, you didn't get the uh, radio. It was all encrypted. So no one, no one could hear the radio. Yeah. But then when the new Liberty uh, took over the thing and then they did the drive to survive, that's when you started hearing the radio chatter. Oh my God. The worst radio chatter ever was uh, Ryan Newman when he was racing for Richard Childress Racing. Him and his crew chief, one year they came in second in the championship by like five points or something. Mm-hmm. 
two years later, the they, way they were talking to each other on the radio, it was like the worst divorce you've ever heard because they're just screaming at each other. <laughs> you're an idiot. No, you're an idiot. It's like, and it's like, wow. It's like, like, no, I don't want to work with you anymore. This is over. You're a moron. Oh, I mean, it was like the worst you've ever heard. And Jesus. Uh, what? So that's right, Mike. Tell. Yeah, you got sometimes. So, sometimes you can put the band back Mando? together. Turn four. Turn nine. Turn eleven. I oh, know <laughs> you're going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> and he kept going. Lando, did, is is the radio comms working? Yeah, is the radio can, working? Can you, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Okay, well, turn four. Turn nine. Turn eleven. You have to, please, Lando. You, you can't do it all by yourself. You're gonna need Oscar. You're going to need the team. You're going to need Oscar. Like, he doesn't need Oscar. It's just nonsense. Does Does Max need Checo? Well, not in the last three races. Wow, Checo. Oh, we didn't talk man. about Checo. Let's, he, let's, he, he, oh, he crashes one more Checo. He crashes one more time in, in qualifying and ends up at the back of the field and scores no points. He, but he scored points. Yeah, he got, he, he got eighth. He got eighth. Okay, but still, they're going to put Ricciardo back in the car. I, that's, I just got I, that feeling. I think Spa is going to be his day, man. If When's the next race? Next race is Spa coming so up this week. So we got four weeks off? So, no, oh, no, this Next this week, week. Really? This week coming up is Spa. Then okay. we have four weeks off. Okay. Now, if Checo doesn't qualify well, I'm going to say if he doesn't qualify top five, maybe top six, and then does it score in the top five, I think he's gone. It's just crazy because they just signed him to a two-year deal. It's just if they, but he might just end up at the Toro Rosso. Well, that's where, yeah. Well, that's what's going to happen. They're going to put but a, no, but a, I don't Ricardo know. Put in the car and they'll put Checo back at RB, and then Yuki is going to spank Checo's ass down there, boy. I don't know about that. Yeah, he is. One bet a dollar on that. I said I don't. Yuki's going to spank Checo in the RB. He's going to spank. Well, him. obviously they're not going to put him. It's sad they, that they won't put Yuki in the car. I'm really Yuki's in that car because it says Honda on it. That's the only reason Yuki's in Formula One. He can drive. He's I. Right. He's, he's not scoring points all the time. There's never been a great Japanese Formula One. And it's yet. Yuki Sonoda. He's not great. He's good. He's I. He's good. He's not good. He's not that good. He still makes too Better many mistakes. Better than Sato. No, Sato. Sato was no, he was an okay Formula One driver, but he's, he's been, better. No, but he's been a really good Indy car driver because no, he he's won, he won the Indy, Indy, Indy two or three hundred. times now. I think twice, maybe. Yeah. yeah, that's like the hardest race to win in the world. It's so hard. What? To win. It's the hardest Come race. Come on, to win. Mike. It's the, going into oval is the hardest race. That's the hardest race here. to win. The Get hardest race here. to win. Ah, no. Anyways, shut up. Sherman doesn't know what he's you talking. You don't know about. what you're talking about. I totally you're telling me the Indy five hundred is harder to win than. Any Formula One. Oh race. yeah, oh yeah. It's five hundred miles. It's it's and you have to position yours. Nowadays you're in a circle. The, but for the last twenty what years, what driving you, skills that you realize you have to go flat out the whole time and you have to position yourself just in the right place at the end to win. And it's like so hard to do. So that's harder than driving back in uh, the Nuremberg Ring back in the day. Well, the Nuremberg Ring is like a crazy racetrack. Is uh, the, was that hard? Is no, I'm that, talking about it's the hardest race to win. That's what I said. You should listen when I talk. <laughs> Red Bull's strategy <laughs> wasn't the best for this race. No, Red Bull's and, car is too stiff. That's the problem. Max was not happy at all. With I the still strategy. think the car. They, I mean, the car and the, the car looks like, like they brought a brand new car to the track. Did you yeah, see the difference in in Checo's car to uh, Max's car? And I don't think the new car was that much quicker than Checo. Checo was within a tenth of Max, yeah. like he always is. So. Well, in in the first qualifying before he I mean, in the, in practice, yeah. But you don't know what they're doing in practice because every time they go to qualify, and all of a sudden they go like a second a lap faster. It seems like in every because they turn the engine up, the tracks rubbered in, um, and I, I just think in the first. But like, what about the strategy? Try again. Like leaving Max out. Oh, really Max long. was not happy about the strategy, and then he had to chase everybody and they down had to chase again. Chase everybody down, and then he hit Lewis. Unfortunately, if he didn't hit Lewis, he would have came in third, right? If he no, he was behind Lewis because Lewis was in third. Yeah, he would. If, if he didn't hit him, he would have came in third, and he would have. If been, he could have waited another lap, he probably could have passed. No, him he just he just made he just locked up the. He made a boo boo. He but he, he no he he but he dive bombed. 
that he, corner, like he's always talking about Lando and everybody else doing. He bomb. did dive bomb. No, he didn't dive bomb. He's he going just, straight, and Lewis is turning right. He made a mistake. The end. He Why made... are you always jockey riding for this guy? Why? He just you, made... Like, you used to call him names, and now you're jockey riding. I'm not jockey riding. You totally are. You're totally nut sacking But, dude, this guy. He's, <laughs> he's still, he still made a mistake. Okay, what's next? You're like, oh, Max, can I rub your balls? Can I massage you? Oh, Max, he's still going to win the championship. Can I rub your back? Do you need some water, Max? Can I can I go and get you a tissue for all the crying you were doing he's on the radio? He's still going to win the championship. Man, so. What's mean, next? What's next on the hip hugging. parade? Nut, nut hugging. Red so Bull or I'm going to tell you that. Checo? It, well, before I get to that, right. what I'm going to tell you is that out of all the drives from yesterday, Lewis had the best drive because he doesn't have the first fastest car, the second fastest car, or even the third. I think the Ferraris really were faster than the Mercedes yesterday. No, they weren't. But they came, they were behind. Only because they. Oh. Only because they qualified well behind him. I well, mean, Sainz was ahead of him, but he got such a great start. Yeah. Lewis' start was awesome yesterday, and he made up because he 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 was he qualified fifth. Yeah, Sainz was qualified fourth. Okay, and somehow, some way, he got ahead of Sainz at the start, and actually had a great start, and ended up because of the undercut getting into third place and held that third place. Over a much quicker Red Bull. I mean, Max was trying to pass him, and he was putting his car. Max in is, the doesn't like his spots where Max couldn't pass. Max doesn't like his car. The and car. then one turn, Max actually passed him, but he went into that turn so hot he went on to the runoff area, and then Hamilton kept going. Max it was is a not, great drive by. Max does not like the car. Did you hear him complaining on the, how much he hates his car? It's only because he's not in front. Well, like, no, the no, car. When he's not in front, there's something wrong with the car. The car oversteers. It's like that, and he hates that shit. He he's, he needs a pointy car, and he doesn't have one right now. Well, but, he, he he pointed straight into Lewis Hamilton. That, that's there. true. So he, <laughs> it was very pointy. Okay, let's talk about Checo. We already talked about Checo. Oh, we're done with Checo. Yeah, we're done well, with Checo. What, what, what's next then? We're we're done unless you want to talk about the preview for uh, Spa. Ooh, Spa is my favorite track. Is it? Oh, it's Out of that all or, the tracks. That or Monza. And Austria, I like those. Those are my three favorites. Monza was awesome. Monza's awesome. Monza's awesome. Because it's fast. Yeah. But I wish the Hockenheim ring, they would put the the old track back in. That was the best. Tell me about your prediction for Spa. It's all out. It's fast. Who's going to win? Well, it seems Spa. like the McLaren have the best car right now. But in a straight line, I think the Red Bulls are still faster. But I, I, I they, they changed the Red Bull this last week, and I don't think their updates did what they wanted, what they thought they were going to do. Because they took those ridiculous, they took those cannons off the car this week. You saw the difference between yeah. Max's car and Checo's car. I don't know if they put a new floor. I don't know what the hell but, they did to the car. But, but Max still had a good qualifying. He was. Would he come in second? No, he, he came in third. Um, but it was all a tenth between all of them. Yeah, that's another thing. All these cars all are the all these cars are so close this year. And I still think Red Bull made a, a huge boo boo by by coming out with this new car. They should have just did an evolution of last year's car. I, I think that Max is going to win this race. I don't know about that. I mean, he might, but Lewis could always win. Ah, the, well, the car's not fast. Enough. No, not this is a high speed track. But we don't know because they they brought stuff to the car too. Yeah. There's a bump in the front of the the uh, Ferrari. Everyone's talking about it in front of the Mercedes. Mercedes everyone's they don't know what the hell it is, but you know what? They might have just put the bump there just to mess just with to no. make, just to mess with people. That's what I was thinking. Like but, everybody's having every okay. So what what Mike is talking about is there's a bump in the front of the Mercedes. Like if you look at the Mercedes car, it's got a little bump. It has a little bump in it, and everybody's been talking about it and it trying looks like, to understand what's underneath it and what it does it looks like the car's got that baby bump like a, yeah. a woman just got pregnant and you're yeah. like what like, the hell what, is that is she pregnant like i don't want to say mm-hmm. or is she fat i don't really want to say is anything. that is that a camel like, toe like, or yeah, you know you like, i don't really want to say nothing because i don't know if she gained a little weight or if she's pregnant so you kind of gotta wait but in this instance our mercedes kind of like making people wonder and it doesn't do anything or do you really think it does something to make the car performance better I have no idea what that bumps for. It's like that's the thing about Formula One. You never know. These are always trying. They're always doing stuff. That's why when they come out with a car, the car that ends up is in the last race from the first race. 
like the BMW in 2009, mm. the first car they came out with looked nothing like the car at the end of the season. I mean, it was like it, they changed it so, and they never did get it right, but they changed it so much from the beginning of the season to the end. You never know what they're going to come up with. That's why I'm like kind of freaked out about why did Red Bull take those those cannons off the car, and now there's no cannons, but it didn't do anything, and because I don't think the top of the car really means much because they all look so similar well, it's the bottom of the car that has something to there's do. a couple things that in a summary that i'm worried about when when we talk about the mclaren red bull battle oh the the, the red bull's too stiffly sprung he can't but he can't I'm turn the, about car. the constructors that's why he that's why he crashed into lewis the other day is because he couldn't turn the car <sighs> mike he he crashed into lewis because he took that turn hot he was dive bombing lewis turn the he car. expected lewis to get out of the way like he always does he always expects the other driver to move and lewis did but move. lewis did move but then he, he he if you saw lewis let him let him have the corner and then max just kept going straight because he couldn't turn the car that's the whole point of the Red Bull, they can't turn that car. He right went now. into the corner too hot, Mike. No, that's not the point. The point is the car doesn't turn. That's the why the car he... turns. He's been turning the damn car through the race all day. What are you talking about? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna after this episode, we are uh, going to pick a day to take Mike, Mr. Tillman to the just race. Stop, track. stop, stop, though. Stop talking. <laughs> He's been turning the car all <clears throat> race long. So all of a sudden, now the car can't turn. Give me a break, Mike. What are you talking about? Anyways, there's 50 laps. He's been turning the car left. He's been turning the car right for 50 laps. Did anything break? No. Did the steering he, ride he, break? He got no. lucky. He didn't take both of them out in that little thing. But anyways, what's what's Spa going to be like? I, I'm looking for Max to have a, a return to the podium. I I'm just, also looking for McLaren to somehow mess up the strategy. And I don't think they're going to mess up the strategy. I think Lando Norris will probably be on pole again. And he's almost slipping into the Charles Leclerc-like uh, mind meld of hypnosis where you on pole, but you can't convert that pole into a win. And I think out of all the drivers in the history of F1, Charles Leclerc has the worst pole to win ratio. And if he's not first, he's probably second. He's really, I think he's had 25 poles in him. He could have 24. It could be 24 or 25. But he only has five wins. So he has a problem, uh, actually six now because he won in Monaco. But out of when you look at Lewis Hamilton or Max Verstappen or look Verstappen. at. Verstappen. Shut up. Or look at uh, Sebastian Vettel. When they were on pole, pretty much 85% of the time. And they I think won their race. They won the race. And I think the the typical, if you look out through the history of F1, and I think we've talked about this before, I think the ratio is about 80% when you're... When you 75, have, 80%. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere around there. there. I, was like, I think it was 78.8 or something like that. But when you have a pole position, the conversion rate, and now Charles Leclerc has a horrible conversion rate, and also now Lando Norris is starting to come well, into that's that realm the, of having a bad conversion rate. When Charles, when Charles was on the pole, a bunch of the times he was on the pole, he didn't have race pace. He just had qualifying pace. If you don't have, you, you got to qualify on the pole, but you also have to have race pace. But um, I think it's Spa. I think uh, the Red Bulls are gonna are gonna be good there. Um, I think that uh, Logan Sargent. This is gonna be his last race. You know, you no, know, Logan for a time was doing very well. He, these last two races, Logan's been doing a lot better. He has been. He they're got gonna, 11th. They're he got, gonna put. He got eleventh. They're gonna put Antonelli in the car for the last. Oh, you know year. Antonelli, and we've been talking about Kimmy. And, uh, Kimmy, watch. Kimmy, watch. Alert! 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 Kimmy, yeah. watch. He finally won a race. He won. He won He's not on a good team though. He won yesterday. A first fe- his well, first him race. Berman are, are, a feature race. He he won. Well, him and Berman have both won races, but they're not on the best F two teams. So. Listen, you're not listening to me. As okay, usual. he won. He finally won. He didn't win before that. He had won a sprint race. This was his first feature race that he won in F two. I mean, he's he's a, okay. he's. They know he's going to be a Formula One uh, something. I, I I hate to call him champions because he has yeah. he has got to get in the right car. He's got to. Right. 
Because, you know, Nico Hulkenberg did all the things. He was a, a buzz like that. He was supposed to be the next Michael Schumacher, and he mm-hmm. just never got in a good car. Right. Um, so, But I think he's going to get a year or two in the Williams, and then he's going to go to Mercedes, because I think um, Science is going to go to Mercedes. Science and, should go to Mercedes. And Vettel's going to go to the other Audi seat. Don't talk about Vettel coming back. He's not coming back. He's coming back. He's not coming back. He's but 35 years old. He's, he's not definitely coming back. Coming back. He's not. Stop saying it. I do agree that science should get the Mercedes. Well, it's 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 the big rumor right now. It's he, like he it's, get he's it. he's going to get it because they're like he'll be there for two years because they want they they have to have someone for two years. They have to have someone for twenty twenty five, but they also have the same. You need the same driver for twenty twenty six. That's why I think Vettel is going to go to Audi. Vettel is not coming back. Why do you keep starting this rumor? He's not coming back. It's dude. a rumor. It's out. It's out in the press. It's not. A, he's it's a not German a rumor. driver, a German dude, championship he's happy driver. At going home to a German with his team. Children, come on. Stop. Bullshit. I want to spend more time with my family. You don't even have any kids? So I don't do want to have any. Not that I know of, but I don't want to have any kids. Give me a Thank break, you, dude. Stop p- projecting what your life onto somebody else. <laughs> all right. The, the guy is happy where he's at. Everyone's right? so jealous of Uncle Mike. You have anyway, no idea. Thanks for joining us on another episode of America F One, and I know. Did you say America F1 or America F1? America. M-E-R-O-C-A. I'm surprised you could spell that right. Anyways, you usually can't pronounce it right. Pronounce it. Why I deal with this all the time. I'll never know. I don't know. I'll never know. I'll never know. And you kiss it out of. He's the best. Anyway. Oh, my God. Yeah, all the teams. He's, he's, <laughs> he's go, the best. He's going to the Mercedes seat next <laughs> he's year. He's the best. <laughs> Keep on racing, everybody. Ciao, ciao. I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing. <laughs>